Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this short video tutorial, you'll learn how to use Adafruit New Pixel products with Home Assistant without any programming. Yes, you heard me right, no programming. I'll show you how to make these cool effects on Adafruit New Pixel ring and stick with just a few simple configurations that any maker can do. The required hardware for this simple project is Adafruit New Pixel ring, Adafruit New Pixel stick, six male to male jumper wires which we will solder to the Adafruit New Pixel ring and stick, Anavi Miracle controller, an appropriate 5 volt power supply and a computer with installed Home Assistant. For example, a Raspberry Pi and in this particular video I'm using Raspberry Pi 3 on which I have already installed Home Assistant. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you have already heard about Adafruit New Pixels because they're super popular in the maker community. The company Adafruit Industries is making printed circuit boards with various sizes and shapes with addressable LED strips known as new pixels. Here I have Adafruit new pixel ring with 12 LEDs and Adafruit's new pixel stick with 8 LEDs. I'm going to connect them to Anavi Miracle Controller. This is an open source hardware Wi-Fi development board for controlling two addressable LED strips. Anavi Miracle Controller works with Home Assistant. Home Assistant is an open source home automation software. It's written in Python 3 and it's compatible with Linux, Mac OS and Windows. There are more than 1000 components for integration with existing on the market devices as well as do-it-yourself devices like this one. To successfully complete this project, we need an installed instance of Home Assistant. I have already done this on a Raspberry Pi 3. After that, there are four steps that we have to do. First, we need to solder male to male jumper wires to new pixel ring and stick. After that, we're gonna install Mosquito add-on in Home Assistant and do an MQTT integration. Finally, we will control the new pixels with Anavi Miracle Controller through Home Assistant. Let's grab the soldering iron and get it started. Soldering the male jumper wires to Adafruit new pixel ring is a little bit more tricky. Here is how I did it. Houston, we have a problem. I have just said that it's very important to keep the right direction of the data input and output while soldering the male jumper wires. And I figured out that I made a huge mistake. Anyway, it's not a fatal mistake, so here I go again on the soldering desk to unsolder the male header pins from the Adafruit new pixel stick and to solder them on the other side, which is the right way to do it, because there is the data input. I am done with the soldering, now let's have a look at the final result. I use the same colors for the wires that I soldered both on Adafruit new pixel stick and ring. Here on the stick, I'm using the black wire to ground, the green wire to data in, and the orange wire for the five volt input. I've promised you that there will be no coding in this video. However, we're gonna do a lot of configurations. Let's start with the installation of the Mosquito MQTT broker in Home Assistant. Open the web interface of Home Assistant, go to Hasio add-on store and search for Mosquito. After that, click install to install this plugin. This project relies on the machine-to-machine -machine protocol MQTT and Mosquito is a popular open source MQTT broker. As you can see in the video, I'm configuring user demo with password demo. After that, using SSH, I'm logging remotely to my Raspberry Pi to configure access control list for the Mosquito broker and after that I'm just starting it. After completing the installation of Mosquito, the next step is to do an MQTT integration in Home Assistant. Again from Home Assistant web interface, click configuration and set up a new MQTT integration. The most important part in this step of the tutorial is to enable automatic discovery. I repeat, enable discovery. Now let's get back to the desk and quickly attach Adafruit new pixel ring and stick to the terminals on Anavi Miracle Controller. Although this is not mandatory for this specific project, I'm also attaching a mini OLED display and a light sensor to Anavi Miracle Controller. 
Turn on Adobe Miracle Controller. It will automatically create its own Wi-Fi access point. From your smartphone, personal computer or tablet, connect to the Wi-Fi access point created by Anavi Miracle Controller. A captive portal will guide you to the rest of the configurations. On the screen, you see a list of Wi-Fi networks. Select your Wi-Fi network and type in the password. After that, type in the address of the MQTT broker as well as the username and the password. It's important to set the type of the addressable LEDs to new pixel and to set the exact length of the new pixels in the ring and in the stick. In my case, I have 12 for the ring and 8 for the stick. When you're ready, just hit save. Anavi Miracle Controller will turn off its Wi-Fi access point and will try to connect to the Wi-Fi network that you have selected during the configuration process. After successfully establishing a network connection, Anavi Miracle Controller tries to connect to the MQTT broker. Anavi Miracle Controller sends a retained MQTT message with JSON payload, which is discovered by Home Assistant, and Home Assistant automatically configures Anavi Miracle Controller so you're ready to go out of the box. Now comes the fun part. Open Home Assistant web interface and start playing with Anavi Miracle Controller by setting different colors and effects to Adafruit New Pixel Stick and Ring. The default firmware of Anavi Miracle Controller is an Arduino sketch which is available at GitHub. It supports six different effects. The major advantage of Anavi Miracle Controller is that you can simultaneously control two RGB LED strips or as in this case, two different Adafruit New Pixel devices in the same time from one single controller. Anavi Miracle Controller is entirely open source project. It combines open source hardware with free and open source software. It has been certified by the Open Source Hardware Association. In order to make all these awesome effects that you see in this video, the default firmware of Anavi Miracle Controller heavily relies on the popular Arduino library FastLED. Another very important ingredient from the software perspective is the machine-to-machine -machine protocol MQTT. Thanks to this protocol, messages are exchanged in real time between Anavi Miracle Controller and Home Assistant. Anavi Miracle Controller implements MQTT Lite component of Home Assistant. The main purpose of Anavi Miracle Controller is to control simultaneously two addressable LED strips like WS2812B, WS2812, WS11, or as you have seen in this video, new pixels. Pretty much any addressable LED strip supported by the fast LED library that has three wires can be controlled from Anavi Miracle Controller. The controller works at 5 or 12 volts. For new pixels, as you have seen, we use it with 5 volt power supply. Thank you very much for staying until the end of this video. If you like it, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos.